Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Day 8! I know, I know every day I'm like, how is it day so and so already? Imagine what I'm gonna be like on day 24. I'm gonna be like, it's day 24, it's Christmas Eve, I haven't done any shopping, I haven't bought any food, ah! <laughs> or, or, I could be a vision of serenity by day 24. I could be one of those calm, smug people who goes, I bought it all, it's all mapped, it's all ready, it's all lovely, it's all ready to go. Merry Christmas. Which do we think? Place your bets now. It is Vlogmas Day 8. It is day eight of opening my lovely, oh, my lovely advent calendars. As always, we will start with the Advent of Change charity calendar. And as always, and I know, I know most of you are watching, you know, most of you who are watching will have seen this before. As always, though, a quick recap, the Advent of Change cal charity calendar has 24 charities behind the doors. And each one of those charities is helped by the sale of the calendars. So under door eight, where the heck is door eight? There's door eight. They've never forgotten a door, even though I think so every time. Underneath door eight in the Advent of Change calendar, Delaglio Rugby Works. Today, you have given... I'm holding it further away so I can read it and take my glasses off. Hold it arm's length. Today, you have given a disadvantaged young person the chance to take part in a rugby session that makes them feel included and part of a family. Whatever next? This calendar is so varied. It leaps from one subject, you know, it's, it, there's so many different charities that are helped by this. It's astonishing. I kind of, I almost expected it to go along a theme and it doesn't at all. It's all, ki and all kinds of charities and it makes you realise just how many disparate, that's the word I want, isn't it? Disparate, that's a good word. Disparate charities that are out there doing so much good for so many people. Where have I put my bracelet? I do this every day. There it is. I put it away safely and then forget that I need to get it back out. So this is my advent calendar number two. This is my Harry Potter charm bracelet, which we are building step by step. And I said to you guys that I didn't know what I was going to do with it when it's finished. And somebody, I wish I could remember who, but my brain, as you know, is basically made of cheese. Somebody suggested that if Natalie doesn't want it, perhaps I could auction it for one of the charities in the calendar. So that'd be a nice idea, wouldn't it? So I'll check that Natalie doesn't want it first, just in case she's got her heart set on it. She's 24, so her heart doesn't break that easily. And if and if you guys think it would be a good idea to auction it, if there's anyone out there who'd be interested in it, let me know, because it's not an expensive thing, but it's quite a pretty little thing that we're building up here. Let's have a look in day number eight on the Harry Potter calendar. So there it is. Oh, easily found. Ah, now. Yesterday we had a conversation about whether yellow was Raven Hufflepuff and it was confirmed in the comments that I was correct. I had got my right house, got the scissors ready as well, and it was Hufflepuff. Ooh. Which means that this is the Hufflepuff house shield. Can you see that? I don't think it's focusing all that well and I'm not... People always put their hands up to make things focus and I just think you're just focused on your hand now. But I'm pretty sure that is the Hufflepuff house shield. Oh, it is. Tiny, tiny writing. In the world's weeniest writing on there, it says Hufflepuff. I don't, know how, I don't even know how anything prints that tiny. Although, I don't know why I've said that, because I've read the Bible and the small print there is reams of terms and conditions. <laughs> okay. We will pop that on. Let's get it the right way round. I haven't put it the right way around. Honestly, Carly, you had one job and I dropped it on the floor. And we're back in the room. Okay, let's put it on the right way around. <laughs> let's not drop it on the floor again. There we go. Oh, you! I've put it on the wrong way around again. 14th time lucky. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to space the other charms out so you guys can see them. Everything that we've built so far, so... Where is it? There it is. So we've got two house ties so far. We've had Slytherin and Hufflepuff, I believe. We've got the Deathly Hallows symbol. We've got the Sorting Hat and uh, Harry Scar. We've got the Warner Brothers Harry Potter symbol and the Hufflepuff tie and the Hufflepuff house shield. It's interesting they came out next to each other. I don't know whether these are randomly assorted in the calendars. It would be interesting to know from anyone else who had the same calendar whether they were getting the same gifts on the same day, wouldn't it? 
or would that be boring as heck and I'm just not as interesting as, as oh, I'm interested in weird things maybe fringe needs cutting in door eight of the bomb cosmetics calendar I have cleared out the dust in door six thanks to Anya who sent me a message going memo clear out door six <laughs> where's door eight? Oh, there it is just above door six in door eight we have got apparently might be more dust cotton candy blaster what can safe oh, sorry what can satisfy sweetie cravings more than this cotton candy inspired bath blaster all the treats without the guilt and left with soft skin at the end with pure jasmine and coconut oils i think it's dust it feels oh no maybe not i'm getting in i'm getting in no, it's made it, it's survived. Cotton candy. Are we ready for the sniff test? Well, it's a little bit flowery now. I would have expected cotton candy to be very sweet, very vanilla-y. It is a sweet smell, but it's got a floral base tone. Have a sniff, tell me what you think. What do you reckon? A bit floral? It's not unpleasant, it's very nice. I realise that we are trying to use less single-use plastic and I'm um, and I'm fully, fully behind that. But I feel that these could have survived better if they were wrapped individually in something, even if they'd individually wrapped them in paper inside each inside each window maybe, because this one again is a little bit dented. So we've had one one that arrived and was only a half by the time it got here, one that arrived and that was dust by the time we opened the window, and that one's a little bit of around the edges. So I think that it might have served them better, like I said, maybe not single-use plastic, but you can get dissolvable plastic, can't you? For example, brain, brain, help me brain, brain. Dishwasher tablets. Dishwasher tablets have soluble plastic, don't they? So they could have wrapped those in soluble plastic, I, but then of course I wouldn't have been able to sniff them, and nor would you, and you can't anyway. And I'm rambling. We'll move on. And of course we move on to save the best till last. This is the advent calendar made for me by Sharon Staley. Now, I wanted to say something about this. Loads of you in the comments. I mean, you're all you're all so impressed by Sharon's calendar as I am. And you're, and, and you're saying wonderful things about Sharon, which is great. And, but one of the things that you are saying over and over again is so nice of your friend to do that for you. I want to say something that sounds really weird. <laughs> no way of not me. I want the, what I want to say is Sharon's not my friend. And that sounds terrible because Sharon is plainly a wonderful friend. What I mean is Sharon doesn't know me. She only knows me the way you guys know me. She's one of you guys rather than someone I have met and a personal friend. And, and that makes this so much more amazing so plainly Sharon is my friend because if she wasn't my friend she wouldn't have sent me this thing but what I mean is she's done this she's done this for, for for someone to whom she has no obligation you know it's not like oh god what am I going to get Tina for Christmas or whatever sorry Tina if you're watching I love you <laughs> I do actually have a friend called Tina what a name to come up with she has done this purely through goodness and kindness and generosity of spirit and doing a lovely thing for another person. She also didn't know that I was going to open it live on air. When she sent me and Lex these calendars, she would have had no idea that we were going to open them live on air and that she was going to get the kudos and the pleasure of seeing us doing it or whatever. She's done this purely because she must have a lovely heart. And that's what I mean when I say she's not my friend. I don't mean she's not my friend. I mean, this is e even better than she's done this because she's my friend. She's done this because of her own pure fantasticness isn't that that's i mean that's stand up give sharon a round of applause don't stand up she can't see you give sharon a round of applause wherever you are right now give her the clap we'll move on it had to go somewhere didn't it while i've been rambling i've spotted day number eight day number eight is a little round one what's inside the round it's not a round window is it it's a round parcel i've got day number eight let's get this uh oh it's well stuck sharon oh it's a little pot Hold it at arm's length. Overnight foot cream. Made by Den made in Denmark by House of Cosmetics. Treats and moisturizers. Sorry, I'm peering. It's Danish. That's why it says made in Denmark. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm just looking at this and not even talking to you guys. Let's get the lid off. Are you ready for another sniff test? Oh, it smells. 
It smells a little bit, a little bit minty, a little bit um, Vicks vapor rubby. You know, we were trying to think of a, trying to think of something that everybody would have smelt so that you could, you could make the connection. Yeah, a little bit. But mild Vicks Vapor Rub, not, you know. Did your mum ever rub Vicks Vapor Rub, vapor rub on your chest and you're like, I can breathe now. <laughs> oh, it's nice. So overnight foot cream treats and moisturisers. There are no instructions, but I presume they know that, you know, presume they expect you to know how to rub things on your feet. It's got lots of ingredients and it smells amazing. And I do have hoofs. I have winter hoofs at the moment. So I will slap some of that on tonight with a pair of cotton socks. And by the morning, I will have soft delicate pretty feet as long as it's magic thank you so much Sharon she must have heard me talking about my hoofs or as I say she's seen my hoofs when um when I've done the diet videos and she can see my hoofs on the scales because she's already sent me something to improve my toenails which I must do this week I must improve my toenails and while I'm at it I'll improve my heels as well thank you Sharon to close with today I have got another poem and I printed it out because it was a bit long to memorise I thought this was the cleverest thing you will all be familiar with the song of the 12 days of Christmas the five gold rings four calling birds three French hens two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree but this the, the the significant line in that is on the x day of Christmas my true love sent to me pop yourself into the position of the person receiving those gifts Okay, this is by Dave Calder and it's called On the 13th Day of Christmas, My True Love Wrote to Me. I think it's called, I may have got the title wrong. Well, I suppose I should be grateful. You've obviously gone to a lot of trouble and expense or maybe off your head. Yes, I did like the birds. The small ones anyway were fun, if rather messy, but now the hens have roosted on my bed. And the rest are nested on the wardrobe. It's hard to sleep with all that cooing, let alone the cackling of the geese whose eggs are everywhere, but mostly in a broken, smelly heap on the sofa. No, why should I mind? I can't get any peace. Anywhere, the lounge is full of drummers thumping tom-toms and sprawling lords crashed out from manic leaping. The kitchen is crammed with cows and milkmaids and smells of a million stink bombs and enough sour milk to last a year. The pipers? I'd forgotten them. They were no trouble. I paid them and they went. But I can't get rid of these young ladies. They won't stop dancing or turn the music down and they're always in the bathroom, squealing as they skid across the flooded floor. No, I don't need a plumber round. It's just the swans. Where else can they swim, poor things? I think they're going mad like me. When I went to wash my hands, one ate the soap, another swallowed the gold rings. And the pear tree died. Too dry. So thanks for nothing, love. Goodbye. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I liked it. Whether I read it well, I don't know, because it doesn't... The scansion of it wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be as I started. So as I got through, I felt I thought I'd lost the scan somewhere. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you for joining me for day eight of Vlogmas. I need to get this uploaded and edited and live for 12 o'clock. I really need to start filming vlog Vlogmas either the night before or very early on the day so that I'm not rushing around at 11 o'clock going, ah! Thank you for joining me and... I'll be right back tomorrow, Vlogmas Day 9. Take care. Bye for now.